Guys, good to see you. Uh, sure. So I'm a huge David Fincher fan. I think between Seven and Zodiac and uh, Benjamin Button and Fight Club, he's directed some of the best movies of all time. I'm curious, the characters are so interesting. If your characters could sit across from any character from any David Fincher film, <laughs> which one would you be most interested in interviewing and getting inside the mind of? Tyler Durden. Yes! Definitely. Oh, what kind of questions do you even leave? I mean, and also, who would you be talking to, really? All right. Shirtless Brad Pitt. Like, like 15 years spoiler alert, by the way. Oh, man. That, and also, I was thinking John Doe would be fairly interesting from Seven. You know, so many people are excited about uh, seeing Charles Manson. Damon Harriman uh, is having an amazing summer because obviously he played him in this show and then Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm curious what it was like sitting across from him when he was in character. Did you sort of have that moment like I'm actually talking to Charles Manson or what, did he just sort of turn it off whenever uh, they called cut? Oh, he, he, he's one of those actors that he can li literally do anything. And Anna had worked with him before and sort of prepped us. That Where he, he was... played my ex-husband who had actually transitioned. Yes, and so right. was a woman. No yeah, one knew right. it was him. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's Manson. Yeah. He really can't wait. You would have seen him in so many different things, too, for a really long time. And you just mm -hmm. wouldn't remember. I remember our first rehearsal in Andrew's apartment. Our first rehearsal with Damon. Andrew, mm -hmm. uh, Andrew Dominic, who uh, directed two of our episodes this season. Right. And I was like, whoa, this guy is the real deal. <laughs> you know, every once in a while, the right actor meets the right role at the right time in the right project. It happened in season one with Cameron Britton oh. as Ed Kemper. Brilliant. And they just hit a home run right out of the park. And uh, it happens this season uh, with Damon Harriman as... Uh, as Charles Manson. Because he played him in Mindhunter before he worked with Tarantino, right? Mm -hmm. It was Fincher that called Tarantino. Yeah. From what I read, it was Fincher that called Tarantino. It was like, you gotta, you gotta cast this guy. Really? That's that's what I heard. Wow. I can't confirm that for you. <laughs> that's, that's just what, that's, that's, that's the, the rumor that I heard. I um, the know, idea of them just on the phone with each other. Could you imagine like that? Shit. That is a phone call I would love to just be a fly <laughs> yeah. on the wall and just hear those two guys talking yeah, to each right. other. Yeah, um, right. You know, what's, the only thing to me more fascinating than this show is sort of our reaction as an audience, as a society, our obsession with these serial killers. When I told my buddies that I got the first three episodes of this, their first question they asked me were, oh, who are the ones that they talked to in the first three? Like that, wow. which I was like, oh, that's so interesting. I'm curious, from your perspective, what does that say about us that we're kind of waiting to see like the, the Manson scenes and the Son of Sam scenes, and we're so obsessed with these people that maybe we shouldn't really be obsessed with? Well, you know, we explore the heyday of sexually motivated homicides, mm -hmm. right? Um, now when we have these, uh, you know, school shooters or, you know, uh, jihadis um, uh, blowing themselves up with suicide vests or Stephen Paddock, you know, killing all those people in Las Vegas, those are mass murders. Mm -hmm. But they're not sexually motivated uh, 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 homicides. Mm -hmm. And um, I think uh, that's what really fascinates people. Um, and. I think that, that uh, David made a very wise decision to try to be as authentic as possible with the stories of these killers and uh, their personal histories, the way they commit the crimes, and all of the details. And it's that authenticity that people recognize and uh, respond to. But this season was going, when, because there's so much time spent in Atlanta, it's the first time you kind of you get to see the victims, mm -hmm. you know, or the victim's family or the impact of what these serial killers are. Mm -hmm. So it kind of does put a face to it so that you're like, this is this is actually yeah. what's happening. It's not just, mm -hmm. yeah, and they, then what you do, you know, in an intellectual way. Your, your scene season. in the diner with the moms is, is Heart un unbelievable, right? unbelievable. And as we wrap up, there was a moment whenever I, because I binged all three episodes at one time and then went to sleep at home in Chicago. And for the first time in, as long as I can remember, I was laying in bed, about to go to sleep, and I thought to myself, did I lock my door? And I went to go check my door, and was not even thinking about it, and then it was a few days later, I thought, like, I, I don't do, that's not a thing I do, I don't go check and see, but that's, I, I wondered if it was the effect of this show. I'm curious, your day-to-day -day lives, have they all at all been affected by being a part of a show like this? I think I intentionally block it out. I just sort of turn it off mm -hmm. and try not to think about it. I, I, I do the same. No, I became obsessed with the whole genre, you know, and I'm constantly listening to podcasts and reading about it. And, you know, it's uh, because it's just endlessly fascinating. They're all so different, and yet they have things in common. And, uh, you know, uh, every new serial killer that we 
uh, that we that we describe on the show. Or, uh, we, you know, he we have to know about him. You know, you have to you have to understand mm -hmm. what are the crimes he committed, when did they occur, why did they occur, what, and, and you know, and, and really try to to put yourselves uh, put yourself into the into the minds of, of the murderer, the murderers. And um, uh, so I became, you know, kind of obsessed with it. Uh, uh, and and. It took a few months after we wrapped before I actually put it out of my mind. God, I can see the guys. I cannot believe we live in a world where we get a TV show this good and we get it uh, in our homes every, you know, multiple episodes at one time. So seriously, thank you guys for being such a thank part you. of such an amazing show. Seriously, thank you. Really